Yes, that was a very interesting case. No liver transplant, no drugs. His blood tests are perfect. He's very happy producing music in Berlin now. Dr. Wesley, with the case of the 14-year-old boy who presented to you with an autoimmune disorder, please tell us about this case. Yes, that was a very interesting case. Uh, that was a 14-year-old boy, old boy. He came with his parents and uh, skin and bone, a lot of pain in his gut system. He had been diagnosed with 12 years already with a Crohn's disease and an autoimmune cholangitis. And he got all the immune suppressants you can imagine, cortisone and so on. And he was desperate. And in the end, the doctors told him, uh, we will put you on a waiting list for a liver transplant. And you can imagine what that does to the psyche of a 14-year-old boy. And they told him, you have to have these medications uh, uh, for the rest of your life. And because once you have a diagnose, you have like, it's like a sticker on your, mm. your breast and you never get rid of it. You're in a box by then. Yeah. Right? Yes, you are in a box. Mm. And nobody will look for other reasons and for other treatments. Mm. And so I started to check a lot of things and found that he had a lot of very heavy food intolerances, especially gluten, milk, egg. And he had a completely destroyed microbiome through the lots of antibiotics he got mm -hmm. and through the therapies and, um, and a lot of deficiencies of vitamin D3, iron. He, has a, an, he had an anemia, which is very common in inflammatory diseases. He had uh, no B vitamins. He had, uh, uh, his adrenals were already so stressed. He didn't produce, uh, of course, cortisol because he got the cortisone therapy. But the other hormone is the DHEA, which is also very important for the immune system. Gone because of the cortisone therapy. So this, this poor little boy, he had the, the conditions of an 85 year old person. Mm. And <clears throat> then I slowly took off all his medication. We fixed his gut flora. We gave him infusions. In the beginning, of course, you needed infusions with all the micronutrients because he couldn't digest his food uh, anymore. And so, and, and he recovered slowly, slowly. And uh, I'm happy to say that he came two weeks before I left for Bangkok. He came to see me for a checkup and he has no complaints at all anymore. His blood tests are perfect. He, not even the autoimmune uh, signals completely disappeared. He's very happy producing music in Berlin now. Mm. And so that is one of the most moving experiences I had because uh, now he is 23 mm. and no liver transplant, no drugs, just takes his supplements and that's it. And of course he has to watch uh, uh, his diet. That's fantastic, Dr. Wesley, and uh, a real success story. And we're all very proud of you to have helped that young man uh, to become the, everything he possibly could be. And I think that uh, it exemplifies what you always say, that uh, you treat our patients as a whole person, not just a collection of parts. Miskawan, Visionary Healthcare.